Cheers and health nuts. We are on our second forest walk for chanterelles. So, oh, that's a great one, Jason. Tell us what we're looking for. Uh, the orange. The chanterelle is, is the gills go into the, like a trumpet, they call them trumpet ones. There's a lot of different trumpet ones of, of different types of uh, uh, mushrooms that are good. Chanterelles are some of the best. There's some other ones that are colored like this, but that's a classic chanterelle. And it does have spores, and they come out of here. But the difference is, is in a mushroom, there's the cap that attaches, is separate to. To classic mushrooms, you'll see that like that. Um, and then chanterelles are in a different family. And these are highly, highly edible. These are choice. Super choice. And they're everywhere. And all you gotta do is put on your mushroom glasses. Right. Never eat the mushrooms raw. The only ones you can eat mushrooms that raw are the uh, the meadow mushrooms, the standard white ones, which we have those out in our front too with the cows. But uh, so you always cook them. How do you like to cook them? I uh, again with a mushroom, you kind of don't want to mess it up. And we added it to soup, and and you can really enjoy it and change the soup. But if you really want a good taste of a mushroom, you just fry, saute them up in butter, lots of butter, lots of butter, because you can reuse the butter. So you can make flavored butter out of oh. a bunch of chanterelles and uh, keep really the butter. Um, again, you can find them in bacon grease or olive oil or anything like that. They also, the chanterelles do really good in milk too. See them right there too, look at blueberries. Where? Yeah, there's a whole bunch there. Um, they do really good in milk, so people also like boil them in milk and they, they come out great and they make like a, a really awesome flavored milk. Why are mushrooms good for you? Why is chanterelles well, good number for one, you? any food that's wild crafted like this, like duh, like the forest put all of its minerals in it and, and it's perfect. So wild foraged food is the absolute best. Um, but mushrooms are, they're made out of these proteins, they're mycelial network, which is, any mushroom's good for your immune system, any mushroom's good for your brain, for your guts. But um, also, they're super enjoyable. They're super flavorful. They're protein. They're they're nature's meat. Um, a lot of the sometimes they call it soma, and soma is essentially kind of like a, um, earth food or what you would call the what was in the the Bible manna. So, um, but mushrooms have. Again, when they're wild crafted, they have just all of the perfect amount of minerals and everything. And they do grab onto minerals. They're pulling up this forest stuff that is, um, has everything possibly perfect in it. And uh, it's never, you know, when you wild craft something, especially in an area that's never been farmed before, you've never ever taken anything out. So even harvesting the mushrooms, I'm not taking anything out because we leave the, the bottoms in. and. So it's a very sustainable, but it's awesome. It's a great way to be out in the woods and... Forest bathing. Yeah. And this is a good patch. Mm -hmm. Make sure to subscribe so you get more great videos on homesteading and health and turkeys and chickens and sheep and cows. So hit that like button and subscribe.